Greetings to everyone. And I'm delighted to have amongst us, uh, you know, when we reflect on her journey since, uh, you know, uh, for the past uh, 12 years, there have been more than, you know, 30 novels by her. And most important, she is a diverse personality, a prolific author. She has written across genres such as young adults, romance, horror, amongst others. And her work has been published by Penguin Random House, Peking Tiger, amongst others. So today we have a great writer with a great writer whose work is a great writer. ही एक विविधता का आयाम है चाहे वो प्रेम हो या हॉरर हो आपने उस पर लिखा है और आज आप हमारे बीच हैं विद 36 नोवेल्स इन द पास्ट 12 इयर्स इंडीड हैट्स ऑफ टू यू फॉर योर कन्विक्शन टुवर्ड्स राइटिंग्स एंड विद दैट लेट्स ओपन अप लेट्स टेक द कन्वर्सेशन फॉरवर्ड एंड लेट्स वेलकम अंदलीप वाजे अंदलीप वेलकम ग्रीटिंग्स एंड यस ऑन दैट नोट uh, the very first significant question, what made you venture towards writing books? Andali, please. First of all, uh, thank you so much for inviting me, for having me on this platform. It's a pleasure to talk to you today about my writing journey, Amna. Um, writing for me was something I turned to very instinctively because I was more of a storyteller I enjoyed telling stories to family members, to my siblings, to you know classmates in school. I, I loved telling them stories. So writing came as the next um, logical step for me, uh, considering that you know I got married early, I had a son, and I didn't have the options for a conventional career open to me. And I still wanted to do something with myself, with my time. So um, I wanted an identity of my own. So I turned to writing because it seemed to me the most uh, logical thing to do. That's a candid, honest one, because you found writing as the hub, as the way out to put all logical things together. Now, Andri, with that, help me understand, you know, because when I, you know, when I was going through your work, you know, from food to relationship, you've written brilliantly. And, you know, one gets the sense that there is, you know, every something for everyone in your writings. So, Anneli, please let us know which one is your favorite. So that would be very difficult, actually, to choose. I get asked this question a lot. So I have till, till this month, I have published around 38 novels. So it would be very difficult to choose a favorite. One of the most, however, one of my most well-known books would be more than just Biryani which was published in 2014. A lot of people love it. They uh, relate to it. They enjoy the food descriptions in the book and the story. So that I think, you know, I think it's a book that people love. I would find it very difficult to choose one of my favorites uh, among all these. You're right, I believe that it gets tough to choose, uh, you know, when, when it's your own curation. And most important, you know, how I really put it as, you know, when I was going through your work, as I said, from food to relationship, there's so much there. You know, it is indeed tough to choose amongst the best. So kudos to you for that, for such brilliant writings. Okay, Anilip, I want you to dwell deeper here. You know, because when I look at your work, you know, as I said, from romance to young adult to horror, you've written it all, right? And you have, you know, na beautifully navigated through various genres. So, so on that note, please help us understand. Please take us through this journey that how easy or perhaps uh, how interesting or very, uh, you know, or difficult is it to navigate your ideas, the words through these different genres? So the reason why I write in different genres is simply because um, I don't want to be, um, you know, bracketed into one genre only like you know oh she's a romance writer oh she's a horror writer i feel that there is i feel that i my writing and um is uh, good enough to cover across different genres, you know. So I enjoy writing about relationships. I enjoy writing about romance. But at some time, I'm also someone who gets 
bored very easily you know so i want if i want to keep the boredom away from myself from the time when i'm writing so i you know i switch genres when i'm bored there are times when i feel like doing that in the middle of the book i'm writing you know so i could be writing a romance novel and it's a you know maybe a very mushy scene between the hero and the heroine and sometimes i feel like bas bahut ho gaya maybe i should get them to kill each other you know because uh, i just feel like you know it, it's sometimes too much of something gets to me you know so i feel like it's better to focus on uh, different things and explore different facets of my own personality because when i'm writing romance i'm a different writer when i'm writing horror obviously i you know focus on different things like atmosphere and you know things like that uh, when i'm writing romance it's about the chemistry and the connection and the banter those sort of things so there are different things to focus on it challenges me also as a writer to be able to write across different genres so i enjoy doing that so the best takeaway is that as you navigate through these different genres uh it's something that challenges you also and most important how you you know really connect that you don't want to just box yourself into one format of writing and you know more navigating through different genres somewhere adds more than to your expressions also okay uh, anjali help us understand you know which is your most exciting part you know of right you know, of being in this journey of writing because you know when i you know as i say 12 years you know to your uh, when i when i was when i introduce you with the bigger time framework of 12 years like for a decade you have been there in the into the realm of writings you know but and in this realm you know you really come up with reams which have been appreciated uh, and one uh, appreciated by everyone and they have won laurels also so anjali jab aap likhti hain to uska sab aapki jo likhai hai uska sabse khoobsurat baat kya hai i mean which is the most interesting exciting part of your writing skill you know there are different um aspects to you know writing a book from the ideation to plotting it out to actually writing it so different um aspects take up different uh, amount of my time and effort uh, i think the most exciting part would be when i get the idea because you know that's when that initial a uh, surge that surge of interest comes that you know is baat pe likhte hain let me write about this and um that kind of when it moves on into me plotting it out so that is a different level of ex- excitement writing the book is not so much exciting but it's a lot of hard work you know which i happily do i enjoy doing it i think what i really like about writing is finished finishing writing a book and getting the the story out to my readers and getting feedback from them uh, and hearing how well they connected with the story and how they enjoyed reading this um so i think that would be i think the favorite part of writing for me comes uh, after the writing is done <laughs> that's very honest of you and believe that you actually you know put the ball in the court of the readers in the court of the people who are engrossed with your writings okay and believe help us understand you know any writing has certain important parts for example characters and context now help us understand why you're dealing with any story uh, how do you balance between that or do you have a thumb rule of prioritizing dekhiye and believe jab bhi hum kisi kahani ki baat karte hain to usme kirdar bhi hota hai और उसमें पृष्ठभूमि भी होती है क्या आपकी तरफ से कोई नुस्खा है कोई फॉर्मूला है आप किरदार और पृष्ठभूमि और समय परिस्थिति में किस तरह बैलेंस बिठाते हैं या कोई फॉर्मूला है इसका या इट जस्ट कम्स आउट सो ऐसा कोई फॉर्मूला तो नहीं है बिकॉज आई थिंक वॉट है यू नो बिकॉज राइटिंग इज अ जर्नी इट इज समथिंग दैट डजेंट स्टॉप you know just because you've written a book you don't suddenly become the perfect writer so writing in you know you keep perfecting your craft with each book so when i go back to my earlier books i feel like i could have done that so much better i could have written that so much more better but that's uh, something i can't do anything about it now uh, my writing you know so it keeps evolving so to find something that uh, you know the secret formula i think would be to um from what i have deduced from my writing would be to be yourself 
बस यू नो बी ऑनेस्ट विद हु यू आर एंड इट शो इन योर राइटिंग ट्राई यू नो it's okay i mean i don't mean to say that you should only write those things which you know which you are comfortable with being a writer lets you inhabit different spaces across the world you know so you can be someone who lives in say netherlands you could be a, you know but then there is also an element of authenticity so i feel that for me personally speaking if i want to um across the years the, the what i've learned is to be myself and not try to be like some other writer um focus on that and get that across i hope uh, so you know there is there is no thumb rule there is no secret formula uh, uh the thing is readers may enjoy uh the same so i actually have experienced something so this year a book of mine was published called lucky for you which i self published on amazon it featured uh, two uh beautiful characters ikra and saad and their love story was really well received by my readers who really enjoyed it who wanted to see more of her and i pivoted that story that ca- those characters into a new series where she is a detective you know so it continued from there so that did not go down as well as you know the romance so um i'm not giving up i'm going to come back with more stories featuring her as a detective but i've learned my lessons as in what the readers want what they want to see what they want to read so there is something that is a push and pull but at the same time i would say that writing is a lot of hard work that people don't really um understand you know they don't think that it's that much hard work that's an honest one and believe that you know the push and the pull and that the very fact that writing too is an enterprise or an enterprise that involves lot of hard work now and believe uh, let's reflect on some important changes that are there within the realm of publishing also you know we all know that we're living at the time where new media is really redefining life technology is impacting every aspect of our lives how do you see this change how do you a cope up with this change has it been beneficial uh, for you oh, in absolutely. terms of writing absolutely because you know compared to when i started um life was very different then the internet was of course there from there, you know there but we didn't have so much social media you know at least not as strong as it is now where you know social media can make or break a book these days especially abroad when you look at how tiktok is a huge marketing tool for authors you know tiktok helps a lot of authors get discovered readers discover new books we don't have tiktok here so you know we rely on instagram there is an entire subsection called bookstagram you know where books where people discuss books so um technology in all its forms has definitely you know in its evolution helped um i wouldn't say make us better writers because there are all the more distractions now but uh, i say I, it would it has helped us get out in front of many more people you know and it has helped um our readers get to know facets of us i i am completely in favor of technology i i, I enjoy listening to audiobooks also i feel audiobooks you know if people if more people gave them the chance and did not look down on them audiobooks can really be uh you know it, a game changer so um i completely feel that you know the new age technology and everything i am not i am not an old school person in that aspect where i don't think that i don't feel that you need to hold a book physically in your hand to be able to read it so i feel like you know that uh, stories are stories no matter where you get them Oh wow stories are stories okay and believe we're going to be coming uh, you know going ahead with a quick rapid fire now with you okay. and uh, you know for for all as you said bookstagram you know because there are a lot of young people a lot of people who are in love with books and you know even regardless say, though technology drives our life but the very beautiful aspect of the curves of the book i mean that, that's that can't be compared right and that is unbeatable okay uh, anilip uh, three quick questions your favorite character in any of your books and why it would have to be ikra the the girl i spoke to you about the one whom i've written uh, this year she's a complete uh, she's 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 you know where she's not she's very unconventional 
and irresistible and people kind of immediately discount her as a stupid foolish girl but she has layers beneath and the once people discover that she becomes irresistible okay favorite genre food relationships romance horror favorite genre so a uh, favorite genre would definitely be um me, genre in me writing or uh, as a reader uh writing writing okay so that i think the favorite genre would be horror because i find it little difficult and uh, i don't find it as easy as romance because so romance is not as challenging for me oh that's interesting okay andeep the last one do we see andeep translating her books towards ott platforms and i allow me to explain a, a something here and it has to be a candid yes or no uh, because andeep a lot of authors their work is you know coming forward at various ott platforms in the form of movies and series amongst others so do we see that happening with andeep's work of course absolutely <laughs> Oh, that's great! Great, that's a candid yes, and all our good wishes to that. Okay, Anjali, your advice to authors, you know, who are trying, you know, with their debut, uh, with books. So, what's your advice to them? So, I always tell people that um, if you have access to books, read them. If you want to be a writer, read books, because without reading, you are entering into a territory where you don't know. I, I don't. I'm not such a stickler for rules, you know. That I don't say that this, these are the rules that you need to follow to be a writer. But I also hold by the uh, definition that you need to know the rules before you can break them. So you know, to do that, you need to read. If you don't enjoy romance, then you should not write romance just because it sells well, you know. I think that defeats its purpose in the sense the readers will know that you are a fake. So if you don't enjoy a certain genre, don't read. If you don't read it, then don't write it and expect others to read it. Oh, that's a very candid one. That you should be ready to tread the path. You know that you should be ready for that. That's very important. Okay, and I leave my last one. Uh, what uh, you know, of course, as we said that with more than thirty books, different genres, various prizes, and appreciation across the uh, across various uh, platforms. And I leave. What is the new thing to watch out for from your work in future? so next year inshallah i have uh, three books out with westland they have acquired my independent independently published series called jasmine villa which was published in 2019 these are a set of romances which i wrote and self published and this year they <coughs> acquired them and they will be bringing out paperbacks of uh, all three books next year i also have a young adult horror novel out with harper collins so i'm very excited about all these new changes happening uh, about these new books coming out in the coming year oh that's interesting so our uh, friends uh, folks that's uh, andali with us and trust me andali it has been wonderful to interacting with you knowing about the skills of writing how to how to navigate between different genres and most important some very exciting projects that are in pipeline for future andali aap se baat karke bahut seekhne ko mila aur aap se baat karke bahut acha bhi laga andali uh, before before we say uh, before of course there's no good by because there should be more to the journey of words arts and literary literature and more your final uh, message to everyone you know for readers learners writers everyone alike your final message <laughs> final message um i think you know um people are very quick to make decisions about a certain book or a certain thing so either they are completely swept in by the you know marketing of a book i think i really wish readers would give chances to new new writers or writers they haven't discovered before to read something new that they have written um and rather than just rely on the on their usual uh you know uh, i'm not saying I'm, i have nothing against comfort reads and if there a certain author is comfortable for you as a uh, as a you know reader you should definitely go for it but i also think that um, my message to readers to others out there is to give new authors even though i am not a new author to many i am those who don't know me they've never heard of me so i would say give us a chance let us take uh you into a journey in our world and i'm sure once you're there you won't want to leave 
Wow. So thank you, Andalip. Thank you so much. And here's wishing you all the very best. Keep doing great. Keep writing. More power to the beautiful ideas that you are uh, you know, spreading with the power of your pen. Thank you so much, Andalip. Thank, thank you. It was you. wonderful thank speaking you. to you. Take very good care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for conducting this and having me over.